It me da doom. Welcome to the hall. Back, we're gamers to a very special unboxing because today I am unboxing the Iron Hills Chariot. So I'm going to get right into it. Just need to pull this open. Just need to slide this piece. Hard to do this with one hand while you're looking through the camera. I come out in a big plastic box. Nope, I was wrong. It came out in two big plastic boxes. So here are some massive directions because this is a massive kit that's quite complicated. Here's a picture. There's also a guide on how to build resin models. Good news, I already know how to do that. And here's a really big oval base. I mean, for size reference, here's an Iron Hills Dwarf with a 25 millimeter base, so pretty dang big. The 40 millimeter Calvary base, here's a 25 mil base, so just, this is a really, really big base. But obviously, this is a big model. So I think I'll start with the goat, goats, so this area first that has most of the goat stuff. I'm saying goat a lot. So this is a huge kit. I think it has like 63 components, or is it 63 sprue pieces? I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is one of, well, we'll start with the crossbar. So this is the bar. That goes across and all the goats hook onto, I do believe. Which, excellent wood detail. Just looking excellent there. And then the metal bar down here. And then here's a crossbar for, I think, slots in. Yeah, I see the ball piece that ball joint that slots into here I think and then we'll hold two goats so here's another piece I think these are part of the goat harness again this is why you need to read the instructions because it's not as simple as other models to put together here's another set of goat harness Goat harnesses. I love the chains on these. Just the detail on even the harnesses is absolutely amazing. Like this is crazy. I absolutely love the detail. Yeah. Yeah, that is awesome. So then we have some goat horns, so some of the tips here, because I think the goat horns come in two parts, so similar to the other goat horns. These goats apparently are actually a little different, because here's some more goat horns, here are the base parts that then fit into this, but Adam was talking about how actually these goats were sculpted differently, the sculptor who did these goats I uh, actually went to a goat pen, he asked for like a day off for research or something, and then sent a picture to Adam of him in the goat pen. Adam uh, talked about this at the Middle Earth Seminar, down at the Nova Open. And what he did, and uh, so he, he then sent a picture of him surrounded by goats at a goat farm. Which is uh, pretty crazy that, you know, going to that extent definitely earns my respect to go to that extent. No, he didn't just look for pictures of goats. He, he actually went and saw real goats and got really close to them. And, yeah, so here's another harness. More horns. Here are some wheel spokes, so these will go on the wheels. There are two of those. These go on the big wheels in the back. Well, actually, they're only big wheels because it's a chariot. 
There's another one of those uh, crossbars. And another one. And so we also have some parts for the dwarves. Well, here's an axle. This part is what will cut you if you get underneath the wrong things. And I think these are crossbow parts. Parts for the, uh, yeah, the Borlesta crossbow on top. And here is the main body part of the chariot, the main bottom piece. So, as the underside, uh, this actually is the underside. This is the part the dwarves stand on. And then pieces connect into here. And obviously, these blades are here to slice down. I think they're connecting blades. They'll go into here, and they obviously slice anybody who is hit by the goats and goes under. So, very, very efficient strategy from the dwarves for getting rid of things they ran over. So yeah, here are some dwarves, and I think these got, these are the arms I think that are holding the Bosta. So the uh, cross the Gathlin crossbow, that's what it's called. Not the Borlista Gathlin crossbow. The Borlistas are what the crossbowmen have. That's what they have. They have Borlistas. These this is a Gathlin Gathlin crossbow or Gathlin Borlista, I guess you could say. And here are some more arms. Something that's really cool about these dwarfs is you can have just short, you can get two sword armed guys if you take shields from the goat dismount kit. You can then have some just shield armed guys. So yeah, you have uh, the ammunition, so that's where you can fire out, and the pointing hand of the uh, regular leader on the goat chariot, though you can of course put a captain on as well, and you can, and that's the other thing, the dual functionality, you can magnetize these guys and use them as either foot soldiers, battle companies especially, for unique characters and have another unique captain on foot for. And yeah, so here's what I was talking about, the sword. So this is how you can get sword arm dwarves. Because I know some people have been wanting that. And then here's a shield. And a spear for the captain. And then here's a, uh, one of those pieces that cuts through the uh, sides on the side. So that is the first box of dwarf bits. And I think I'll put these back in the box and come back as soon as I have finished. Here's the second part of the Iron Hills Chariot. So here's the main piece of the crossbow as well as I think another main strut. And the crossbow is absolutely amazing. Just the Gathling crossbow. You fit in the ammunition, it fires out the front, and this thing was amazing in the movie. Really, really cool. Look what this green is here. Is that a piece of the mold that came off? I've had this on like Goon Bed Works too. I don't know. Did the mold is the mold coming apart and I got a bit of the mold? I don't know. Yeah, so here are some goat legs. Yeah, these goats now that Yeah! I'm looking at these goats and they are quite different. I just unboxed some of the other dwarven goats, and these goats are significantly different from the uh, the other goats. Like the the hair design shorter; it's over different parts of the body, and they're not armored. So yeah, they've got the wonderfully detailed harnesses on them. Which is really impressive looking. But yeah, these goats are quite different from the other goats that the regular goat riders have. We also have some other goats that are pretty similar. Yeah, these goats do look a bit more like the other the goats I've seen in real life. Rather than the shaggy mountain goat look at the other ones. I'm not sure I've seen mountain goats in real life. Maybe at a zoo, but not that I can remember. Another goat. There are six of these goats, I think. Yep, and then goat legs again. More goat legs. So yeah, then we have the dwarfs. And as usual, as I've said, these are the guys you can have with extra swords. So, great for battle companies, and they just look cool. Love to have drawn sword ones, because you don't have... Because, you know, we have so many other poses. Nice to have a different kind of pose. Here are two more. You actually get five dwarf warriors in this kit. Well, four warriors and a captain. And yeah, so.
great look. I really like the uh, split beard there. That is cool. Here are the beards on the other dwarves because the beards are what make them so unique. Even though they're wearing the same armor, they still look unique because they have unique beards. So here's some braiding on the back of these dwarves' beards for their hair. And here's the Iron Hills captain. Absolutely amazing captain. Possibly my favorite captain sculpt. I'll tell you when I've painted him up, but very well I think maybe my favorite captain sculpt I've seen. Absolutely amazing. Love how the cloak is flowing. Just really noble pose. That is cool. Really stoic. I like how the chainmail is coming down. Really, really cool captain. Like, I've loved the other captains, but I think this one might be my favorite. So yeah, then we have the walls of the chariot. And yeah, so this I think is the middle part of the chariot. So where the driver stands and has extra weapons on the side that the dwarves can make use of. So we've got some axes and yeah, just absolutely amazing detail. I love it. So glad I finally got to pick up this kit. So yeah, here are some wheels. That's a lot of flash that I'm going to have to clean up, I think. Yeah, this looks like flash to me. Because it's too thin and it's coming apart at the edges. So either it's not overly well cast, supposed to be there, or it's flash. So here are even more, uh, here's more parts of the side. Just, oh man, that detail is amazing. I love that detail, it is so good. Just the designs on this thing and then extra ammunition. I love how they added the extra detail from like the Weta book. Just absolutely amazing. And then two more pieces of armor. And so it has the wood on the inside but the metal on the outside. Absolutely amazing look. I love it. Just, oh wow, so cool. Just the metallic. Sorry about that. So yeah, I've, there's the where the Gathlin crossbow comes out. Absolutely amazing detail. And then where the driver sits or stands. And yeah, I just love this is such an amazing kit. And I'm really looking forward to putting it together and painting it up. So yeah, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Support your Hobbit hobby and Akman Rookie Astu. Thank you.